Hello and welcome to 151 Lee Road on Salt Spring Island. This is a beautiful five acre property located at the top of Lee's Hill. We have quite a lot of infrastructure on this property. There's a large vineyard, a five bedroom, two bathroom house, wine production building, a tasting room and a guest suite. Well, I'll get started with a full walkthrough tour of this property and hopefully answer some of your questions. We have a main residence here, a five bedroom, two bathroom home over two levels. There's also a wine production building with its own 200 amp electrical service. And there is a tasting room with a guest suite above and a storage shed here on the left with the main electrical service, another 200 amp connection to the property. Well, the main residence here is tenanted, so I will just show kind of the uh, living room and kitchen spaces. There is a Matterport available for the rest of this space. Nice windows here into the main bedroom on the upper level. Large covered deck on this side and there's that large south facing deck uh, coming off of the living room. Beautiful gazebo here and a large picnic area in front of the main pond. There's a second pond uh, up the hill that, <coughs> excuse me, is an irrigation pond. And a pump house that services the irrigation system for the vineyard. This western side of the vineyard has the red grapes and the eastern side just past the pond has the white grapes. There is a washroom here. And this is a large storage room here, but is uh, also the scale of it is shown in the floor plans. There's the one bedroom, sorry, one bedroom, one bathroom upstairs in the house, and then four bedrooms and one bathroom downstairs. This kind of patio area here, covered storage. Poured concrete foundation. And here we have the wine production building. So through a uh, ideal sale structure as a share sale, this equipment would be included in the sale. Uh, there's eight of these large uh, fermentation storage tanks. Um, There's the 200 amp electrical service, on-demand hot water. Coolers, forklift, and two, uh, a brand new unused wine press, uh, the older press, 
This is a, a stemming machine from what I understand and, uh, and a kiln <laughs> for your pottery pursuits on the property. Uh, another access point to the property here. So of course the property is bordered on the front with Fulford Ganges Road. So there's a large truck coming up the hill here. And quite a lot of fruit trees down here. Uh, I'll walk through that later on, but in a beautiful part of the property going there. That's also where the septic field is, just below the beehives. And there's a secondary gate to access the property as well along Fulford Ganges Road. So a great collection of heritage, apple and pear and plum trees all down here, this large maple and fir tree it's a beautiful corner of the property here great to have that exposure on Filford ganges road it's centrally located there's a solar water heater on the roof of the main residence, asphalt shingle roof, and wood stove and baseboard heating. There are two uh, small streams that flow into this main pond here. And an artesian well just behind the tasting room. I'll show you when we tour that space there that when overflowing will also drain into that well. Here we have some of the irrigation infrastructure that's feeding the drip lines for the vines. And this is the pump house coming off of the irrigation pond. Careful if you're touring this property to just step wide over that little bridge. Pressure tank here. I'll walk around and show you that irrigation pond in a minute. bit of kind of composting of organic materials here, but we have at least an acre uh, up into the forest here on the northern portion of the property. I'll try and get a little bit closer here. It's all fenced, of course, for the deer. And you can get a sense here, the scale of this irrigation pond. There's a trail uh, just past this property at the end of Lee Road that goes all the way up Mount Maxwell. And of course, with Mount Maxwell to the north of this property, uh, there's just quite a lot of water coming down the hill to maintain the irrigation pond and the well. This is really a beautiful part of the property. And as I said, this triangle goes quite a ways up the hill.
This area here, I understand, is uh, kind of the, the runts or the orphaned grapes that um, were kind of the smaller vines that were planted up here. So they're not, not really producing, but is a uh, kind of a prime location for any other kind of use or development as they are not producing grapes. So this section here in the middle is the boundary between white grapes and red grapes. Here we have the tasting room and commercial kitchen in the back. This here is the main well for the property. And there's an overflow here. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's overflowing currently as there's no demand on the water right now. And that drains into the lower pond. A little bit of a potting shed next to the main shed. And this here is the guest suite. southeast views. It's a fair bit of storage here in the slope of the roof. It's a very small deck here. It's in older condition, so please don't step on the deck, but with some replaced boards could be a nice private deck. bit of a staging or storage area here, the back of the shed, and another access point from the road. Some other kind of exterior infrastructure access here.
This is further water infrastructure from the well, uh, filtration, pressure tank, and distribution lines. That's where we saw the garage door on the other side. There we are. So we're getting quite a lot of storage here. And the electrical service. Nice pull through parking in this area. Further parking up here above this little garden. There's a small stream here. still has a bit of water in it uh, we're right at the end uh, June 28th for that matter it is 1243 right now on June 28th so you can get a sense of the sun exposure on the south facing property and this trail as I mentioned earlier in the video goes all the way up to Mount Maxwell the property itself is probably four or five meters to the east from where I am right now as I'm past the edge of the road and there's a bit of space for the road allowance. But it goes still quite a ways. I suspect there's another 20 meters or 30 meters of property going to the north uh, this way. Beautiful area up here. Well, I think that just about covers it for 151 Lee Road on Salt Spring Island. There's a lot on this property. Please do make sure to not um, approach any of the staff or approach the business during operating hours. If you'd like a showing, do reach out to your realtor representing you as a buyer and schedule a viewing appointment. Um, because it's tenanted as well, there's some notice required for viewings uh, to see inside the house. Uh, there are quite a few photos, a Matterport scan and floor plans available for the house and all the other buildings. So do check at julianbruce.com for the full listing media. Thanks so much for watching. Do let me know if you have any questions. Bye.